and welcome back to my channel. I should have checked my face cam first. Whoops. Yeah, it's definitely too bad. Big right there. Okay. Uh, professionalism, everybody. <laughs> okay. Anyways, hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, where? Honestly, I have no idea what's going on anymore. I believe we're playing as Luigi right now. Just Luigi. Mario is sick last time, or fell ill last time to the bean fever, and I believe we have a boss battle coming up, but first I want to kind of explore a little, so, I mean, I explored quite a bit last time, but, you know, okay, so I can't hammer that, so it does seem like our best option is to go down. And I already checked these out, um, I should probably check my health stuff. Okay, um, we're looking pretty good. I still find it weird that I have to press X and Y to do the checking on my health. There's also more rocks that I could, well, can't smash over that way. So we're just gonna go up this way. Um, and it's like Stonehenge. I'm gonna take a thorough walk around before I trigger this boss battle. Okay. Kinda looks alien. As a matter of fact, those uh inside stones definitely look like aliens. Seriously, this looks like Stonehenge, doesn't it? Anyways, so I guess wait, what? Some guy hammer this guy? Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so I guess I'm playing baseball with, uh... What? I don't know what's going on. So I hammer this guy, and then I play baseball with these blue guys, so then I don't hit the red ones. Yeah! Got it. Okay, so that red one will kill me. So it's blue. It was blue for a second. Okay, this is gonna be frustrating. So it's not a boss belt, it's a stupid puzzle. We need to work on our aim if we're gonna do this, because it needs to be blue when I hit it. And it only stays blue for so long. this, right? Like, I need to see when it turns blue at the top, so I'm ready for it to come down. But then there's not enough reaction time! God damn! I can't see it turn blue fast enough. Like it needs to be bouncing off the ground blue. There we go. Got it. I was expecting it to do it after two bounces. I'm sorry. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, yeah! Two. So close! This is actually very frustrating. Hit it, damn it! One more red. And it turns blue longer than it. Other ones did. Okay, there we go. Got it. Um. The fuck? Now what? Try thundering this. No. 
Do I hammer it? Why would I have to hammer it though? Oh, okay. So I guess that's that's not really a way of pressing the button if you really think about it. But okay, I'm gonna roll with it. <laughs> By the way, sorry about the sound quality. Um. It's still not working too well on my computer, so I have to go with the sound from the TV, unfortunately, so, yeah. Actually, well, too late now, but I was going to just... Okay, thank the Lord that didn't cause anything to happen, because there's a save point right here I'm going to save and continue. Ah... Uh, Always worth saving. Huh, Luigi's actually higher level than Mario is right now. And that's only gonna continue. Luigi. The way things are going. Oh, B, right. Unfortunately though, we do have to I'm not sure what this outer glass guy does. I should probably be more focused on destroying him then. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm definitely focusing on this guy. There we go. Okay. I thought it was a boss battle, but apparently it was just a puzzle. But hey, it can never be too safe, right? Usually this game has good warning for boss battles, so... Oops, did not mean to go back. Oh. Why is it so much harder to navigate using the control stick? Oh, uh, this is gonna be some serious platforming. Normally I would use Mario for this, but unfortunately, I do not have Mario's spin power. Oh, shit. Do they reset, or do I have to hit the block again? I have to hit the block again. Great. So, super unstable... Um... Okay, I'm using the control pad right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, now that I'm back to the control stick, oh boy. So these guys can throw their spears at you, and if they hit you, throw you... They throw you into an automatic battle. No, there's more this way. Um, looks like there is a block here with a super mushroom. Nice. I'll always take super mushrooms. Those are nice to have with me. Uh... No! Okay. That's gonna be fun. I wonder what language all this text is in. Man, this platforming is really wrecking my nerves. Because for every platform that I fail, I know I'm going to have to restart that whole section of platforming all over again. Being that it's a RPG style um, way of moving around instead of just regular, you know, platforming. And some, I mean, sometimes platforming normally is nerve wracking, so. Interesting. So what happens when I hit the other one? Just... Same thing happens for... Okay. Ah, okay. So we need at least one of those up. Let's put up the pink, I guess. No, the pink is the one that goes down. So we want the pink down. I think it's pink. I'm colorblind. Let me just go with the shapes on them. Diamonds. We want the diamonds down and the square up. Okay. And now we knock down the squares. Thunder. 
We can also knock back up the diamonds, but there'd be no way of getting back around if we did that, so just be careful with your platforming here, I guess. Now we can knock the triangles down here, which I've got a feeling is very necessary. Oh, okay. I see what we're doing now. Okay, so then we come back over here, we knock down the... We knock back up the diamonds. And now I'm lost. <laughs> ah, there we go. Almost. We need the squares now. So I think... I don't know where I'm supposed to go to do that. Oh, well if I do that from here... I can just kind of fall back over onto the platform over there. Jump over here and there we go. Okay. It was a bit of a puzzle there, but I figured it out, so I'm good. Okay, now stairs. With enemies! Gotta watch out for them enemies. The less we fight, the better. Since we have no bro attack -ing abilities right now. Uh, okay, that's random and creepy. <laughs> um, so we can keep going up here, I guess. I have no idea if that's the. Yeah, that's the way we're supposed to go, because up here it's just a wall. Okay, so if we just keep coming up here. There is a block, okay. And that must trigger the door, no. Hey, Mr. Mustache, I'm amazed you have come so far. Word has spread in town that I have become a horrible and despicably frightening monster. Why does everybody spread rumors they know nothing about? That uh, makes me furious. It's so annoying. It cheers up my insides. Oh, you could help me, Mr. Mustache. Please, help me release the stress that... Uh, that ails me so. I don't get why he's using more S's than everything else. It doesn't make sense. He's a stone thing. All you must do is dodge my flames for 30 seconds. What do you say? Will you ease my pain? Will you help me escape my stress? You don't sound stressed out, but okay. Yes! Of course you will! Like I said, you must dodge at my flames for 30 seconds. If my flames hit you, be... If my flames hit you before you fall off that ledge, before 30 seconds pass, you must just start all over. Ready? Not completely, but... Okay, so I'm switching over to, uh... I'm gonna switch over to Control Pad to make things easier for myself. So I guess dodging his flames is, uh, isn't too hard, you just jump straight up. It's more or less jumping to the next platform here. That's been more of my issue right now, because, you know, I gotta move to move to the next platform. Success! Oh, many thanks. That really let off a lot of stress. You have some weird stress relieving tactics, my good sir. But if it works for you, uh, who can really complain, I guess? <laughs> it 
feels like my soul has at last been released. And that's what opens this guy's mouth. Okay. Thank you, Mustache Studio. Ugh, I read that on. Thank you, Mustache One. You can go now. I am done with you. And he disappears in the thin air. The fuck? Uh, hold on. There's something else I need to be aware of, because that looks very suspicious. I guess not. Okay. Let's just... I got Krabby Grass! Okay. Uh, I'm kind of curious what Krabby Grass actually does, so... Let me check it out. Uh, it doesn't show up here. It must be a key item. It is. Bitter medicine for bean fever. That's what we needed! I am not going in any farther. Let's just come back out here. There's a save point close by, so... We should be able to save. Whoops, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Okay, well, let's, uh, hammer that guy. Whew. And jump! Oh, boy. This is even more nerve-wracking than the platforming. Just die already! Thank you. Oops. And you can see why it's more nerve-wracking than the platforming. And look at my health right now. One screw up and I'm dead. Okay, two screw ups since technically I already screwed up once. Okay, now that we got that done with, what I meant to do was pull this menu up and... Oh boy. Do I use a mushroom or a super mushroom? I don't want to do math, so I'm just going to use a mushroom. That'll get me close enough to what I need. There is a save point close by. Let's just kind of drop down here. Yeah, right there. There's a save point right there. So I'm going to hit it. Save, continue, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to travel too far into the valley. Is it a valley? I forgot what the name of this place is. Hold on. Grafala Ruins. I didn't want to go too far into the ruins. Knowing that I've already got what I came for. There's probably another key item that I need, but now, actually, I kind of want to check out those key items. I didn't realize I could even check them out here. So I've got the bean map, Paisley Rose, Paisley's Rose, which will probably be useful later on. Bean Bean Brooch, I think we already used that. Yeah, we did. Crabby Grass, Secret Scroll. Okay, so. Okay, just coming down this way. I'm actually surprised we have not leveled at all throughout this uh, whole section. I'm just going to continue and save again because you never know when something might happen. It is an RPG after all. <clears throat> Thank you. Alright, so back down this way. We've already established that my hammer is, is really useless pretty much everywhere, so... Let's just go the way we normally would, and another save point. I'm going to take it again, again, for the same fact that I have no idea what's coming up. <laughs> it is an RPG, so anything can happen at any point when traveling through the map area. Uh, jump over that. 
Yeah, okay. So we're now back in, uh... I forgot what this place is called. I think this was the valley, though. Uh... just can't remember the name of the valley. I also apparently don't remember my way through it. This way? Right? Please? No, that's a dead end. Great. <laughs> At least there's no random battle encounters for doing this. Ah, there we go. Okay. And we're just gonna head back up to... Well, it's not the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh... The Mushroom Mountain, or whatever they call it. Alright, and now we should probably go head back up to check up on Mario, but first, we're gonna save again. If something happened, we had to go all the way back here. Oh, that'd be, that'd be terrible. <laughs> so is that 17 minutes of gameplay or 17 hours? I can't really tell. Probably 17 hours. My videos tend to be half an hour long with this series, I've noticed. And that guy's still talking about how great that mushroom is. I wonder what happens when I talk to him and be like, Yo, dude, the mushroom almost killed my brother. Nope, he's just saying the same shit. False advertisement, I tell you. False advertisement. Ah. Uh, Luigi, are you okay? been doing? Don't you remember? I heard you went to Gavala Ruins to get Krabby Grass for your... for Mario. Did, did you really get Krabby Grass? <laughs> I actually have to look. It, it really is Krabby Grass. Are we just not going to mention the fact that a random lightning bolt hit Luigi? This is not a safe place to live and people are living here. I mean, sure, lightning can be a problem, but it's clearly not even storming. There's no rain or anything. That was just a random lightning bolt. That's pretty fucking dangerous if random lightning bolts are striking out of the blue. to uh, the frightful and dangerous Kafawa ruins all by yourself. Luigi, how incredibly courageous you are. Surely you will be a legend in this town. <laughs> he doesn't want to be. <laughs> by the way, what do you think that the... Uh, by the way, what do you think the thunderous noise was? Uh, are you fucking serious? Could something have happened at the embassy? Luigi, Shouldn't you be rushing to Mario's side? Well, yeah, could you please stop talking to me now? We already know what's going on, so shut up. <laughs> the, the, Luigi! The Princess Peach, she... <laughs> well, I did save, so... This is kind of shit I was talking about. She's been kidnapped by Bowser Jr. No, Bowser. Luigi! No, it's not Bowser. It's Kekleta and Bowser. Excuse me, Bowser? Oh, I think you're surely mistaken. I'm... Balletta! Kekleta's power is poured into Koopa. This Koopa, who is king? The body of the Bowser, but the mind of the great Kekleta! I need no voice this time. I'll just deal the real deal. Oh fuck. 
You had one job, Luigi, and you failed. Okay, I guess that's a bit unfair. You had a lot more than that. But you can kind of see what I'm saying. You never know what's going to happen. I honestly did not expect that to happen right there. I was expecting it to happen at some point. Just not while I was returning to the... Okay, so we need to help Mario as soon as possible. Things transpired while you were off uh, doing who knows what. It looks like my hobbies will have to be uh, shelved once again. What is Toadsworth hobbies? Now I think about it. Your Highness, Bowser. No, Cackletta. Uh, I mean, the letter. A message has arrived. And he's giving it on a Game Boy. Oh, Game Boy Pants. You puny little worms! You're no match for me now! I'm only going to say this once, so listen up! If you want your precious princess returned safely, bring me the four pieces of the Bean Star! I will contact you again once the Bean Star is complete. Has it come to this? It seems we played our hand out only. Uh, it seems we played our hand out only to find that the game is not over. There is little we can do. For now, we must gather the Bean Star pieces as Bowser, uh, as Bowser demands. Luckily, I know the general areas that the pieces fell in, so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. And he's even going to circle them on the map. Thank you. I have marked the areas where the bean... I cannot speak today. <laughs> I have marked the areas where the pieces fell. Who will gather the pieces first? The esteemed Mario Bros. or me? I will bet 99... Oh shit, what is that number? Ninety-nine gazillion, ninety-nine... Ninety-nine gazillion, nine hundred ninety-nine trillion, nine hundred ninety-nine... Billion, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine mushroom coins, that it will be me. Oh yeah! Do not scoff, for I do not intend to lose! The game is afoot! <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Master Mario, Master Luigi, we're counting on you. Heed my directions well, and you'll quickly find the Beanstar piece that landed in Tihi Valley. I recommend going to find uh, this Beanstar piece first. I must say, my senses have been uh, referred to as strangely keen. So, I guess now we're in a race to get to the, excuse me, get to the Bean Star Shards. But of course, we got plenty of time to do stuff because we're not on an actual time limit. So I'm going to save here, and that'll be the end of this video. So if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. There are links in the description, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Um, game? Thank you. <laughs>
Sometimes I imagine myself as a drifter, seeker of fortunes, connoisseur of great wines, dashing through meadows of yellow and green, trying to catch the impossible dream, leaving the straight life behind. Sometimes my